Hi beauties! So today I'm going to be testing out the amazing Glamgo Super Mud Face Mask. It is a face mask that I've wanted to try for a long time now. I've seen so many bloggers posting Instagram videos of them and posts about it. And this is something that I've wanted to try for so long because it is a clearing treatment, which is amazing for acne and problem areas on your skin, which as you can see... I have problem areas on my chin since I had my son. Before I had my son, my skin used to be so clear. I was lucky if I had one spot in a whole month. But since having my son, I have had a lot of problems with the chin area, which is a hormonal area in your face. And I do suffer with hormonal breakouts, unfortunately. And it's not pretty. So this is the little beauty. I'm so excited to try it. So the packaging is beautiful. Comes in this very bougie optican shaped box, which is just so nice. And on the front, it has all the key things that this mask involves. So it says on the front that this is a clearing treatment. It says it's for problem skin, skin imperfections, poor refining, mattifying, and clarifying, which to me sounds really good. So it took me a while to figure out how to open this box but I did figure it out. <laughs> so it has a tab here that you pull out. Opens from the bottom, I don't understand. I thought it would have lifted off, but anyway. So when you open it, it says, hello, sexy, which is always a nice welcoming message. And then when you open up, this is what it looks like inside. On the top here, it says all the key things again. It's really handy that they have this because a lot of masks just put things on the front and you don't actually get to read about them so i really like that they've done this i think it's really helpful but now while we're all here this is what the mask comes in it's actually quite heavy which i was surprised about but i love that it's going with the outer package again and it's all silver and white which just looks beautiful like the branding is so good so i'm going to open up and see what's inside oh okay it's sealed <laughs> So let me get this seal off. Okay, yes, yeah, definitely charcoal. Oh, so you can see inside. Typical charcoal sort of look. It is a really strong scent. It definitely smells earthy. <laughs> I can definitely smell the peppermint. I think that's the strongest scent to me is the peppermint. And it sort of smells of like tea tree oil as well. I don't think there's tea tree oil in it. So it must just be the peppermint. But yeah, it's really strong. But it's, it smells really good. It's not a horrible scent. It's not overwhelming. But you can just smell the elements of the peppermint. That's the main scent that I can smell, which is quite which is quite enjoyable really. I'd rather that than a face mask that stinks. So let's put it on. Hello! <laughs> so now I look like a crazy lady with my burning ears. My hair's like <laughs> sticking out. I thought it'd be easier if I put you in the mirror so that I could also see what I'm doing because I don't want to get this stuff all over myself. <laughs> so it says to apply a thin layer all over the skin or you can use it as an on-spot treatment as well. But I'm gonna do it all over my skin and then you leave it on for five to 20 minutes and then wash it off. It's really cold. I'm actually surprised about it. It's going on really smoothly. Normally face masks are quite hard to move around the skin. But this is actually going on really smooth. And a little bit does go a long way. I haven't dipped back in yet. It feels really nice. It's so like soothing. For an intense face mask, it does feel really so like soothing, which I'm surprised about. And it's really cold when you put it on, which I always love with face masks. I can feel it on the spots already. It's starting to tingle slightly on the spots. So we know it's working. Oh God, I look crazy. Again, I can smell the peppermint, but it's not overwhelming. It just smells nice. It smells like I've got a spa treatment on, which is always nice. 
I don't really have problems on my forehead, but I will put a little bit up there. Yeah, the main thing that I'm surprised by is how smooth it's applying, which is amazing. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the sides. Obviously you don't apply it near your eye area, it doesn't need to go there. And I can see it's already starting to dry on the end of my nose and I can see the pores. So I hope that means it's pulling it out. <laughs> So now I pop that on, it's starting to feel a little bit tighter where it's drying, but it's still really cold, it feels really soothing, and it actually feels really nice. So I'm excited to say. So yeah, so I'm going to leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes now, let it all dry, and then we will see. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see. Can you see where it's started to dry? It's like gone all holy. <laughs> Okay, so it's been 15 minutes now and it is really tight. As it dries, it does go really tight. And whilst it was drying, it got so warm, which was weird and unexpected compared to when I put it on, because when I put it on, it was really, really cold. But then as it started to dry, it really warmed up on my skin and it was not burning hot, but it was getting warmer, you could feel it. It reminded me of the Body Shop Warming Clay Mask. Um, the ginger one, I can't remember what one it is, but it's a warming mask and as you apply it, it warms up, but this one warmed up after it started drying, which was a new sensation, I've never had that in a mask before, and it did dry on my skin really quick, by the time I got around to taking photos, it was already half dry, <laughs> within like two minutes it already started drying quickly, so that was unexpected as well. I didn't think it would dry as quick, but it does feel quite tight, but obviously it is charcoal and a clay, so that is gonna happen, but it doesn't feel like it's cracking tight. And I was really surprised at all the pores that I can see. I said as I was playing, oh, I don't really have problems on my forehead, but I'm gonna apply a little bit, and my forehead is really bad. So maybe I do have problems on my forehead because it does detox your skin. I take it as pulling all the rubbish out of your skin and all the dirt. So I didn't even know it, but I actually do have a lot of detoxing needed on my forehead. So that was also something that I was really surprised at. And as it dried, the smell of the peppermint did go. So if you don't like the smell of peppermint, you know when it's dry and it does go, you can't really smell it anymore. I just wanna show you the pores. So as you can see, you can actually see what it's done. Now my nose, I know my problem area for blackheads and things is my nose and here. So I'm not surprised to see that. My chin, however, is my worst area and not, it hasn't got the same effect as up here. It does look like it's worked and obviously something has happened, there has been action. So I'm gonna wash it off now and I'll come back and tell you how my skin feels. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I washed it off. My skin feels incredible. Like it feels so smooth. It doesn't feel dry. But um, I look like I've been on a skiing holiday. <laughs> Literally, I have circles around my eyes. It looks like I've been wearing skiing goggles. Right, so I read on the back. Probably should have read this before. It says, avoid eye area, which I did say about, so could that be why I got the big rings? Use sunscreen and limit exposure while using and the week after. Not for use on sensitive skin. Now, I wouldn't say I have sensitive skin. I put things on my skin all the time to test and new products and, you know, I do use intensive treatments and things like that. So I wouldn't say I have sensitive skin. I have had allergic reactions to products like Nivea, and I wasn't a tomato though. 
So I don't know if this was the warming sensation that I was saying about, where it's actually burnt my freaking skin, or if this is actually normal and it's happened because it's such an intensive treatment, it's like completely taken everything out. So I'm not too sure. I mean, I have had this happen before on another charcoal mask, so it could be the charcoal. And obviously this one is a very intense charcoal treatment. So it could be that's why. <laughs> Good job I'm not going out today. <laughs> I mean, the forehead has gone down already a little bit. So I'm gonna leave it for an hour, guys, and then I'm gonna come back and talk about it. If it's not gone within the hour, then I might be a little concerned. <laughs> so it has been just over an hour now and the redness has gone down so much. It kind of looks like my normal skin again. You can just see the ring here, which makes it a bit obvious. <laughs> but I've just been looking online and apparently it's really common for this face mask. So I think because it's such an intense face mask, it does bring out the sensitive side in your skin, which I have no problems with because it has gone down, my skin it feels incredible, like when I run my fingers over I can't feel as many little bumps anymore and my pores feel so good, my skin just feels amazing, it's a little bit shiny, it was matte but I've put on some face cream just to soothe it a bit whilst I had the redness but I am really impressed. I really, really like this face mask. Just not too impressed with the fact that it burns my skin. But I think what I would do in future is just leave it on for the five minutes. I did leave it on to the max time, which probably wasn't a very smart move. But I normally leave face masks on for a really long time. So I think from now on, I'll just be using it for five minutes or as an on-spot treatment. I had a really nasty spot in the corner of my mouth and here. I can't really feel the bump anymore. Like I had like a little bump. It's pretty much flat now. The one in my mouth has completely dried. So that's probably going to be gone by tomorrow now. So it has definitely worked on my problems. And I think definitely would be really effective as an on-spot treatment. So overall, I do rate this face mask. Just please be aware that on sensitive skin, it can burn you. Now that I've tried this Glam Grow, I really want to try the others. Um, maybe a more of a hydrating one would be really good to try. Yeah, thank you for watching this video and coming along with me to try this face mask out and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!